Identifying Voice of Holiness broadcast number 1139 to be aired Sunday, October 30th, 2011. of holiness. Jesus, and welcome to the Voice of Holiness broadcast, Radio Voice of the Bethel United Church of Jesus Christ Apostolic in Jamaica. It's Sunday evening. It is our privilege and pleasure to bring you this half-hour gospel program featuring songs, Bible reading, prayer, as well as a spoken word. Our program comes to you from the Bethel United Church, located at number 20 South Camp Road, Kingston 4. Our island bishop is Bishop Devon Brown, and Bishop John Hewitt is the pastor. We hope that this program has been a source of encouragement and truth to you. It is our prayer that through this ministry, you will be uplifted and strengthened. We are also celebrating 44 years of continuously bringing you the Voice of Holiness broadcast. This program is designed to bring men and women into fellowship with God and prepare them for Christ's soon glorious return on earth, trusting you have been blessed by this ministry. We join with the writer of Psalm 91, verse 1 and 2 in declaring, Lord, thou hast been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever thou hadst formed the earth, and even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. We now join the voice of Holiness Choir as they sing, He Lives. I serve a risen Savior, He's in the world today. I know that He is living, whatever men may say.
invite you to join us here at Bethel 20 South Camp Road on Wednesdays at 11 a.m. in our fasting service. There you can participate in Bible reading, meditation, and prayer as we seek strength from the Lord. Send in your prayer requests and let us pray over these. We look forward to having you. Our prayer line is open to the public between 5 to 7 p.m. on Thursday evenings. We would be happy to hear from you and to pray with you over the issues affecting your lives. The number to call will be given later in the broadcast, so kindly stay tuned. Thanks for your interest in this broadcast. Your response is just one way of measuring the effectiveness of this program. If you have never written to us, please take a moment to do so and let us know what the program means to you. Be listening for our mailing address later in this broadcast. It is now prayer time when we invite listeners to pause as we approach the mercy seat with your requests. For you, we are praying with missionary Paulita Erskine. Righteous and eternal Father, today we give you thanks and we give you praise. Lord, we exalt your mighty name. We thank you for your goodness and we thank you for your love. We thank you another time, Lord Jesus, that we can come, Lord Jesus, to declare your word, hallelujah, that you save, that you keep, and you satisfy. Lord Jesus, one more time, Lord God, as we are on this station, Lord Jesus, to declare to the nation that you love them, Lord God, as this broadcast goes for tonight, we pray that it will go forth with power and with clarity. Lord Jesus, we pray for our speaker tonight, that you will inspire, that you will give a word for such a season. In the name of Jesus, we bless your name because you are worthy. We pray for every heart, Lord Jesus, that will receive your word today. We pray, God, that it will be a blessing. We pray that it will find room. Lord Jesus, we pray, God, that it will bring forth, hallelujah, life in the name of Jesus. Today we pray, God, for our country, Jamaica. We pray for our leaders. Lord, we pray, God, that you will continue to lead and to direct, Lord Jesus, this country. Even now, God, as we are about to change leadership, God, we pray, God, that you will just be in the midst. We thank you for hearing today. In Jesus' name, amen. In the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn towards the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to see the sepulchre. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for the angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it. His countenance was like lightning, and his raiment white as snow. And for fear of him, the keepers did shake, and became as dead men. And the angel answered and said unto the women, Fear not ye, for I know that ye seek Jesus, which was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen, as he said. Come, see the place where the Lord lay. And go quickly, and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead. And behold, he goeth before you into Galilee. There shall ye see him, lo, I have told you. And they departed quickly from the sepulchre with fear and great joy, and did run to bring his disciples' word. And as they went to tell his disciples, behold, Jesus met them, saying, All hail. And they came and held him by the feet and worshipped him. Then said Jesus unto them, Be not afraid. Go, tell my brethren that they go into Galilee, and there shall they see me. Now when they were going, behold, some of the watch came into the city and shewed unto the chief priests all the things that were done. And when they were assembled with the elders and had taken counsel, they gave large money unto the soldiers, saying, Say ye, his disciples came by night and stole him away while we slept. And if this come to the governor's ears, we will persuade him and secure you. So they took the money and did as they were taught. And this saying is commonly reported among the Jews until this day. The scripture text was read from St. Matthew chapter 28, verses 1 through to 15. You may write to us and let us know what this broadcast means to you. 
Our mailing address is The Voice of Holiness Broadcast, P.O. Box 8943, CSO Kingston. Tonight's broadcast is program number 1139. You may learn more about the Bethel United Churches by calling 922-1476 or 922-3344. On Thursdays between 5 to 7 p.m., you may call 928-2987 with your prayer requests. Or you may email us at buc at cwjamaica.com. Please stay with us as the Voice of Holiness Choir now sings, Take up thy cross and follow me. I walked one day along the country road And there a stranger journeyed to Bent low beneath the burden of his load it was a cross, a cross I knew. speaker is our father in the gospel, Bishop Ira D. Thompson.
the precious name of Jesus. It's a long time since you have not heard my voice and the voice of holiness broadcast, but I'm continuing to, to pray for you and to trust that this message, this gospel message will reach every soul and that those who are yet outside of the fold will come in before time changes for eternity. Yes. Hey, praise the Lord. This church continues to herald the gospel. And I say the gospel. The gospel entails the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And I am trusting that you will interpret that to mean exactly what it means. Jesus Christ didn't go to Calvary for a show. And I am grateful to those of you who have written in from time to time and send encouraging words and make encouraging remarks regarding broadcasts. But, amen, we have not been on the air just for the show of it. I know it sounds good. And it looks good for a church to have a broadcast. And for the last 44 years, we have been heralding the, the gospel of Jesus Christ. I am only trusting that this message will not go in vain. But as you tune in tonight and other nights, that you will accept the word of God, not only to hear them, but to accept them and to act upon them. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I want to deal with a subject tonight, um, which I suppose if you walk around Jamaica and quiz every person, they can tell you something about the death and burial and resurrection of Jesus Christ. It has become a norm. We, we, we heard it from school, from home, from school. And every church seems to be, uh, what I would say, talking about it. Until today, everybody, as it were, um, knows something about the death and burial and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Regarding the resurrection, two, two different reports has come from the sepulchre. And tonight it depends on which one of the reports you have heard and which you accepted. Because your eternal destiny depends upon which you heard and which you have accepted. The women went to the sepulchre and God provided an angel and there was an earthquake and the stone was rolled away from the sepulchre and the angel sat upon it. If you ask me tonight why they sat on it, it was to protect the stone. Because if they didn't sit on it, those soldiers would have rolled it back. And, uh, you know, let me tell you for sure that the women and all the others who came afterwards would not know for sure that Jesus was out. But God protected the very stone by having the angels to sit on it and frighten the soldiers. The Bible says that there was a shining light which must have blinded them so that they couldn't see their way to roll the stone back to the sepulchre. Thank God for that. Tonight we sung we serve a risen Savior and he's in the world today. 
Um, while, it's, while it's a song that everybody knows, but I wonder if the reality of it is in your heart tonight. Because some folks just sing it as a song but have not had the experience of the resurrection. But the Bible said if the spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwelleth in you, it shall quicken your mortal body. Amen. And absent of the resurrection, our preaching, our gospel would be in vain. If Jesus is not risen from the dead, we could as well shut this church door and turn the building into some other kind of factory of some kind. And absent of the resurrection, if that is not preached and taught, where you go, ask your minister about it, because it's the resurrection that assures you that Jesus is risen. And the effects of the resurrection is the Holy Ghost. Which a lot of folks tonight denies. And um, as a matter of fact, they laugh and they jeer at the Holy Ghost speaking with tongues. But that's the only assurance that we have that Jesus' body we have not seen, but he has left his name and the Holy Ghost for his church and thank God for the resurrection which makes baptism in Jesus' name a reality. If there is no resurrection, then your baptism is, is a joke. It's in vain. But because Jesus rose from the dead, yeah. we are buried in that name because he did not come back from the dead as a dopey, as we say in Jamaica. But he came back alive and well. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Tonight I am hoping that the, you will hear and understand what this message is all about. It's about the resurrection from the dead, which for salvation, for eternal hope, you must have. It doesn't matter what anybody else tell you, but you must have the Holy Ghost, which is the assurance that Jesus rose from the dead. He appeared unto the women and told them they must go and tell the disciples. St. Paul writing to the Corinthians said, Now concerning the spiritual, spiritual gift, brethren, I would not have you ignorant you know that we were once gentle, carried about with divers. Amen. Amen. Wherefore, I give you to understand that to man speak. Amen. Wherefore I give you to understand, understand that no man speaking by the Spirit of God call it Jesus accursed, and that no man can say that Jesus is the Lord but by the Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord. In spite, we have a lot of parakeet today who just say things without, without the knowledge of what they're saying. Amen. Amen. I heard a discussion on the radio the other night. And somebody with the, with the desire and the hope to, to out 
talk and talk down and talk away baptism in Jesus name. He said you should not be baptized using the name. You should be baptized using the title, using the authority. But the authority without the name is no authority at all. The authority of uh, a person is his name. You have to put that name down there. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now therefore I desire Now there are diversities of, of gifts but the same spirit. And there are differences of administrations but the same Lord. And, and there are diversities of operations but it is the same God which worketh all in all. But, but the, the manifestation, manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit withal. For to one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom, to another the word of knowledge by the same Spirit. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Um, St. Paul writing to the Corinthians, he said that Jesus, we have some weaknesses, you know, was seen of Cephas yeah. and of the apostles. Yeah. And last of all, it was seen of himself yeah. who was born out of due time. Praise the Lord. It's not a guesswork. There are those who have seen him before yeah. and uh, testified of the fact that they have seen him. Praise the Lord. And there are those of us even today who have not seen him in the flesh, but who have received of the Holy Ghost, which is an assurance that he lives. Praise the Lord. Um, And it came to pass that while the Paris was at Corinth, while having passed through the upper course, came to Ephesus and find certain disciples, ask them, Do you receive the Holy Ghost since you believe? And they said, We have not heard whether there is any Holy Ghost. And he said unto them, what then were you baptized? And they said unto John baptism. Then said Paul, John barely baptized unto the baptism of repentance, saying unto the people <coughs> that they should believe on him that should come after. When they heard it, they were baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm reading from Acts 19. Please. Take your Bible and do some study and make sure of this facts in Jesus' name. God bless you. Hold on to holiness. Hold on to holiness. Friend, do you have heard? Most report to review the church. The preacher told you the story of the resurrected Christ. It is true. Jesus rose triumphant from the dead and he rose your soul to save. Tonight, if you do not know the Savior, we plead with you, repent of your sins, accept baptism in the name of Jesus Christ, and you shall receive the Holy Ghost. Thank you for staying with us. We hope you were indeed blessed. Please join us again next time Sunday at 11 15 at the same station. May I the Lord's hands. Until we meet